What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to clarify a little bit what's happening with the Pangu jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1 for the moment and whether you should update your device or not. Because I've been getting a lot of questions and I have seen a lot of questions on the uh, jailbreak subreddit as well from people asking if they should go from iOS 10.2 or 10.2.1 or 10.3 to 10.3.1 just because Pango has demoed a jailbreak. We're discussing of course about the jailbreak that has been demoed yesterday at um, Janus conference or Janus program and uh, if you didn't see the video it's in here, I'm going to link it in the description and a lot of people has, have been asking me where they should update or not in order to actually use this jailbreak. Well, the jailbreak was only demoed, not, um, it wasn't actually released, which means that anything can happen. And we have a, quite a few bad news in today's video. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about this jailbreak in here, uh, you know, the, uh, the photos that have been going across the world uh, yesterday, posted by Spark in here. And you can see in the picture there is a Pango jailbreak, somebody presenting on the stage a Pango jailbreak for iPhone 7 running iOS 10.3.1. And it was presented at Janus conference and yeah. So uh, a lot of people thought, oh yeah, Pango is back, Pango is going to release uh, something and so on. Well, it might not be that true. Let me explain why. Although the jailbreak was confirmed to be real, Pango might not be releasing it. Now we have this article in here that was written in Chinese, but we tried to translate it with Google Translate and uh, yeah, although you don't get a very good output from that translation, if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get a quite a few things in here, including this statement that doesn't sound very good. Pangu doesn't mean jailbreak. So on the subreddit on uh, here, on reddit.com slash r jailbreak, a um, person in here tried to somehow uh, translate this Devopia in here, tried to translate the um, the post. And he says in here that uh, it sounds a little bit bad because Pangu might not be uh, releasing that and might have only uh, been demoing it for, you know, demo purposes, for mobile security and vulnerability demonstration purposes. And also, um, this uh, part in here from Google Translate, which sounds like, quote, Pangu doesn't mean jailbreak. Speaking of Pangu, most people first uh, reflection is iOS jailbreak. So Ben Zong, the information founder and CEO, Han Zen Zenguang, at the press conference at first told us that Pangu doesn't mean jailbreak. Well, it's of course very gibberish uh, written because it's translated by Google, but somebody tried to interpret it and um, he ended up with this, quote, the CEO of Pangu uh, st stated at a press conference that just because they demoed a jailbreak doesn't mean they will release it. It can also mean that Pangu doesn't want to be seen as only related to jailbreak. It wants to be the face of the f of fighting mobile security and its vulnerabilities. And um, yeah, the post goes on and on, but the uh, bottom line in here is that if you're on iOS 10.2 and you're already jailbroken, do not make the mistake to update. Because I, I have seen quite a few questions asking me whether they should update from iOS 10.2, which is already jailbroken, to iOS 10.3.1. Because, you know, Yalu jailbreak is a little bit buggy and so on, and they want a better jailbreak. And they probably associated Pango with more stable jailbreaks. Yes, this is what I did um, initially as well. When I think about Pangu, I think about a much more stable jailbreak than Yalu, but that doesn't mean they're going to release it just because it was confirmed real, so do not update. Yes, save your blobs. I mean, if you have your um, SHSH blobs, you should probably go ahead and um, put them somewhere safe. If you don't have them saved already for the iOS 10.3.1, go ahead and save them now. And um, you can use either Conan's website, um, TSS Saver at onecanon.com, or you can use TSS Checker, an application available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, created by Teamstar himself. And you should save those blobs. Do not update from any other firmware to 10.3.1. You are much more safer on a lower firmware. And uh, yeah, we do not know if they're going to release this jailbreak, so do not get overhyped over this. For the moment, it remains exactly as the past Pangu jailbreak for iOS 10, which was never released. If you remember, Pangu has also demoed a jailbreak in the past, 
uh, at a uh, conference at Mosaic in 2016 for the uh, iOS 10 beta 1 and they did not release it because by the time iOS 10 was actually finished and out of the betas, Pangu jailbreak was actually patched. So um, yeah, we should probably not get overhyped for the moment. If they do release it uh, finally, probably they're going to release it with 25 pp and this is something to consider. And also if they're going to release it, it's most likely going to be only for 64-bit devices. So unfortunately no 32-bit folks. But uh, if they don't release it, we cannot actually blame them because they never say they will do on these posts. So again, try try not to get overhyped. Try to read this page in here where um, the VOPI tries to translate a little bit this article that uh, contains a lot of information about Pangu and about their direction and about Janus conference. And also try not to not to update your device and keep it on the uh, lowest firmware possible. Also, you should keep in mind that I'm holding a um, an AMA or ask me anything on the jailbreak Discord server, and uh, that's, that is going to be on Saturday at 1 p.m. on April 29. So what is an AMA? You can ask me any questions, and you can put your questions in here at this page. I'm going to link it in the description. You can ask me about jailbreak. You can ask me about uh, iOS security, you can ask me about uh, development of things, about tweaks, about anything you want me to answer from the uh, developer standpoint or if you want to know something about me probably and uh, I'm doing this with the um, in collaboration with the um, stuff from Discord on um, on jailbreak Discord server. So if you have any questions, go ahead, place them in here. If you don't have an account, you can create one in literally five seconds. You don't even need to confirm your email, you just create one and put your question in here. If you're coming from the channel and you don't have an account and you're creating one, put your question in here, but also put hashtag uh, from YouTube like this so that we know you're somebody from my channel who have seen the video and decided to ask me a question so that we we don't get any problems with the uh, the new accounts created. So yeah, if you have any questions about the jailbreaks or about anything you would like me to answer, go ahead in here, read the post, leave me a question, and I'm going to uh, be able to answer it. So this is actually it, guys, about the Pangu jailbreak. Do not overhype, do not update your device in the frenzy of the, you know, a new jailbreak coming, because it's possible not to be coming, it's possible to remain only a demo, and therefore you should stay on the lowest firmware possible. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, subscribe to stay updated, peace out!